So the last one on the board here, we have, this is an interesting board, very, very interesting. Again, archive shows up as your only source of plus draw, maybe. If you have coppers and settlers in your discard pile, then bustling village and settlers will draw. Outside of that, you just have the archive, which is, like I mentioned before, it is a bit um, strange to have some of your deck on vacation. Steph described it as that the one time when we played with it. At any rate, so we have Temple for trashing, and Akuchi um, commented on one of my videos saying Temple is a good trasher, but it comes at a, a steep cost of tempo. So um, I'm not going to go for that straight away. I'm going to go for an Ironworks. My opponent goes for the Temple right away and a Vassal, which is fine. I go for the Ironworks because there's lots of things to gain with the Ironworks. Wouldn't be unhappy with 10 Secret Passages in my deck. There's also all the um, Settlers and a Monument you would want, etc, etc. So 6 for my opponent here. Expected Artisan saw Scouting Party instead and an Ironworks. 6 for me. I'm going to pick up an Artisan. Like I said, the Archives are an important pile and I want to be getting those as soon as possible. I mean, my one of the previous games I realized, look, you need more Archives. So, I mean, sooner rather than later. So, I decided to go after the, um, well, hopefully go after the Archives with a little more intent this time. So again a temple finally of the ironworks. That's another advantage to um, going for it a little bit later. I get one VP. Hooray. From taking it because my opponent played his first. So I finally get trash in, in my deck with the temple and I have the artisan now so I feel very comfortable just going ham with the temple. This sculpting party is not the greatest sculpting party in the world. I only had two dollars and I decided to go for um, a scouting party instead of a settlers, hoping that the scouting party would cycle past more jump. Nah, he's not having that. Made me discard my ironworks, which is bad. Anyways, the settlers are going to do work this early in the game. And here comes the archive, sets aside three coppers. Ah, uh, well, what can you do here? Um, terminal collision, but the temple is more important. My opponent is ahead on trash, and I need to get around to doing that. Um, that's that's very 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 important. He's played it what two times now. I've played it once, and I think he's been able to trash like four cards in the two times he's played it. So I need to be um. This doesn't help either. Him discarding um the temple with his vassal. Although I mean there is some um combination you could pull here with the secret passage and the vassal. You could top deck an action and then the vassal discards the thing that you put on top of the deck and you could play it automatically so that was a neat little interaction i didn't see that until much later speaking of things i don't see until much later museum is one of them um mini fairgrounds kind of thing right rewards you for having a variety of cards in your deck so you would like to put one of everything in your deck as best as possible just um, something to bear in mind when you look at the board for the first time right you have to um, try to build accordingly. We have only plus actions in the bustling village, which is soon here. And it's something that I think we had to both go after to do anything meaningful on this board. Um, the ironworks meant that you could deplete the settlers too fast and then you could get a bustling village and then get giants and then just go smash a money deck to pieces, I think. I think that's how that works in my head anyway. So I do have more archives than my opponent, very proud of myself for going after the archives so early in the game. Now again, sidetrack my mountebanks, etc, etc. Here I stopped going for the archives because I think the bustling village is important. I would like to play more terminals, preferably giants. Um, four though doesn't let me pick up a giant uh, monument will suffice. I do have terminals in my deck already in the form of vassal and um, temple. So I considered the monument but didn't want to put it because it was another stop card. So I went for the um, just a single scouting party, not another one because then I'll lose all those cards in play, meaning I'll trigger a shuffle, all of that, all those cards will be outside the shuffle. That's not bueno at all, especially the bustling village, I don't want that to be outside the, the um, shuffle. 
So um, if you see my opponent's um, deck there, it's all in his hand right now. So he's very, very thin. Advantages of trash and coming through here, picks up a monument. You know, he can now play that monument very regularly. You see the Vassal trick here with the Secret Passage and 7 for him. He still doesn't have an Artisan. Still doesn't have an Artisan. This should be an Artisan and he does pick up the Artisan here. So good, good um, play there. That'll help him a lot. Uh, with picking up the bustling villages that's a big big deal on this board the source of plus action bustling villages three actions too not just um two like an ordinary village it is bustling so here i am a little bit slow on my trash and i pay the price here not an exciting turn i miss out on seeing all of these good cards particularly the artisan the artisan is my key right that is the thing that i had earlier that my opponent didn't have and if I'm not able to play it and gain nice things with it, then you know how much of an advantage do you really have? If it, even if the card is in your deck, it's how much you use it, right? It's kind of like um, pieces in chess. If you like rooks are locked away in the corners, they're effectively out of the game while your opponent attacks you, presumably with other pieces. Anyways, this is dominion, not chess. So at this point, um, what I'm looking to do is get all the bustling villages out first and then go back for the archives. Um, perhaps, um, now that I have a bustling village, I should pick up another artisan. That doesn't seem entirely unreasonable at all. Um, the archives, I feel like you could never have too many archives. That's not true. If you could draw your whole deck, then, like if you have five cards, then well, one of them is an archive, then you have too many archives. But in this kind of deck, yeah, you'll take all the archives you could get, right? Archives are very, very nice too because um, it lets you set up for a subsequent turn. It's like an advanced haven, you know? So you don't have to take things this turn. You could take it next turn, next two turns, save something for when something else appears in your hand. I don't know. It's like an advanced haven. I this thought just came to me talking to you all about this <laughs> archive is an advanced haven in a sense which is good which is good it lets you set up subsequent tunes i should bear that in my next time i see archive see it only took me three games with archives at least three games with archives to to come to that realization okay jokes aside what are we doing here i have three of the bustling villages i'm very happy about that because it does um, choke my opponent on the plus action so what he has to do and what he does do here is start to pressure the provinces right step one to doing that is to pick up a gold excellent card on this board especially for his deck with two points and he is looking um, like he'll province um, next turn and perhaps um, for a few turns to come right he has a few more uniques in his deck namely particularly silver and gold so there's a few extra points off the um, museum with those things. I have no silver, and I don't really see myself picking up a gold this late in the game. Now, I, I don't really think I need it for the money, to be honest. I have all these nice things like um, monuments and vassals, and in particular, I was just trying to set up my deck here to play giants a lot, just to go smash things out of my opponent's deck, because... Um, if he's just put in 1-1 one, one copies of things, and I go hit that with my giant, that's um, a point swing. Could be crucial, especially later on in the game. So, um, this turn, right? We'll, we'll talk about this turn. First, I screwed up this turn, because I wanted to gain a temple, but only after I played my temple. right? So I want to play my temple, fatten the pile up to 4 VP, and then gain one with an artisan. Should be an archive, I know, I know. To hear you all screaming, should be an archive, should leave the four point, just let it go, it's not that significant. But I wanted to play my temple first, to fatten it, to gain a temple to get four points. I don't end up doing that for reasons known to myself only. And I um I think that's the biggest screw up here. For this to nope 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 we're not done with the screw up so that was one screw up not yet gain any temple with four points this is another screw up i buy the temple with four points i don't think that's right archive is better artisan artisan 
is better. This is the point where I should have picked up a second artisan. Even gold is probably better than that temple. But no. I was lured. I was rused by the, 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 the thick pile of VP on it. And I, and I buy the, the second temple. It's a second temple in my deck, but it's not. It's not worth it. There are stronger options on the board. I didn't pick it up. So that turn was a big screw up um, for me. I didn't coordinate my... In my head, I coordinated the temple thing first. I was like, okay, I'm going to play temple first. Then after I played all my action, because I was, wait, I still have my temple in my hand. Oh, did not do the thing that I thought of. Anyways, my opponent now gains a giant, and he wants to go smash things out on my deck. It's like, we're going to fight with giants now. So it's like... This is, this is actually Shingeki no Kyojin. I recently watched the series, if you didn't know, anyways. So, he gets a giant, plays it. Um, next day, our giants will go ferocious and go try to break down Wall Maria. Okay, I'll stop with the references. He picks up his first province. And I should follow him. I should really, really try to follow him. Because if I let him get too far on that pile, um, I'll have no hope, right? That's your main source of VP on the board. Get half of those things at least especially seeing so you only have one artisan in your deck and you can't make up points on your opponent by picking up duchies for example so what does he play here right i need some money to buy a province where is money coming from well the money is coming from the giant so i'll get um, the money from the giant this turn but next turn i don't want to have to wait every other turn to have the five dollars from the giant this is why i didn't want i didn't feel the need to pick up gold or silver because there, there's giants on the board so i'm gonna pick up another giant on the next turn get a little bit ahead of myself but that's gonna be my plan for economy gonna be my plan for economy for this um, remainder of the game here so finally i'm able to trash all the things i want to trash out of the deck we keep the copper because I have a pile of settlers and is also worth two points and is a bit cumbersome to regain a copper in this game at the end. So um, I have the deck where I want it now and I'm able to buy a province. Nice, I'm just two points behind my, behind my opponent. So we are looking in comparable shape. He does have a couple extra points like I mentioned of the um, museum. I did go smash his monument with my giant, which is good forced him to regain a monument there for the two points he goes smashing but he hits a province and giants cannot destroy provinces so they just send a curse into my deck which isn't terrible with museum around i get a point from that subsequent ones will be bad but this one isn't terrible so um so there you saw the archive put two bustling villages and a settlers inside it right so i feel like with archive around you would like to have a lot of redundancy in your deck just so that a key card isn't locked away another reason to pick up an artisan by the way so you aren't forced to always be picking up um like that particular card from your deck if you have another one coming later on you could get something else from this archive and potentially find that second copy later on so Look, we will be learning things about archives in this um, in, in this uh, game here. Nice, right? Nice. So I get to play um, Double Giant here. And I don't hit anything, unfortunately. Poor Settlers. I just land a curse in my opponent's deck, which also gives him the point. So I'm not thrilled about that. I'm mostly not thrilled about not hitting one of his like uniques. Particularly his artisan. If I kill his artisan, oh my god, that would be the juiciest target in his deck to go smash. Um, by the way, we're going after provinces and the six archives in the pile, right? Mixinok in the chat said, yeah, that made him sad. So we should have been picking up more archives. Because I, his deck is, well, we're about the same level of clean in terms of um, junk in our deck. And I'm starting to feel the strain here of the, the putting the green cards into my deck and I assume the same is going on with him. So now we have another fat temple and my opponent um again I think he goes for the temple this time, I'm not sure. Fat meaning four um VP on it. He gains a Mandarin I imagine for the points but also it's a lot of money. Gets him up to province and he picks up one then. So 
getting close to the end game here. Hopefully, I can um, pick up a province this turn. Really, I don't have any gold, right? My only source of econ is those two giants. Only source, and I really have to go dig in for those things. Um, Secret Passage put in a ton of work in this game. A ton of work. Why did I say I was at the um the the the, the level of junk that I was happy with? I have three coppers in my deck, so I was wrong. I want to get down to one copper. I don't know where the other copper. Oh, they were in the archive. That's why I didn't see them. Never mind. Never mind. Anyways, I do find double giant, and I do smash another monument. These giants do not like these monuments. Just, just destroy, destroy, destroy monuments. Another reason for redundancy, right? If giants go smashing things, you don't lose the two points. Pick up a second artisan, please. I was petrified. From the time I saw him pick up a giant, of his giant hitting my artisan, I would just cry. That would be such a loss, such a devastating loss. So, province for me here, and see, is at this point in the game I forgot museum existed. And that'll come into play on my next turn. So, I was wondering, it seems fairly safe for my in my head for my opponent to pick up the province, especially if he gets a temple along with it. So that'll be almost like two provinces, right? Eleven points. One from the temp five from the temple and um, six from the province. And if he gets eleven points, that's a lot of points. <laughs> it means I need thirteen to win, right? Or twelve to tie. And twelve isn't crazy, except it is crazy, because how am I getting two duchies, right? Only I only have the one buy. That's a constraint in this deck, right? Just the one buy, which is all the more reason the gains. Uh, important. So he um, attacks me with giant, puts a curse in my deck, so that's worth one point. Then he buys a province. So I am looking at this point, right, for a tie. Tie in my head is province that she has state. I guess me, um, the, the 10 points I need, I think. Am I counting that correctly? Oh, province that she has state and play temple or something. 11 points I need to tie the game. So that's how I'm thinking about it, right? I forgot about museum. Duchy is worth five points to me. Estate is worth three points to me. Didn't occur to me that these things were worth that many points. So, um, what McSenoch has set up from this point in the game is he's created another game. I won't tell you what happens from this point on, right? But what you could do is go for yourself. The game number, I'll leave it in the description below, but I'll tell you it here. 4564097 decision 350. You could set up a game with the bot and try to win the game from that decision point 350. It was around the point when I said just now, but there is a way to win the game from that position. Um, you know the top four cards of my deck if you're ha you've been tracking and alert. It's Vassal Monument, another bustling village, which I was desperate to find, and another giant. So those are the top four cards of the deck. You are aware of the museum situation. I'm not going to tell you how to win. Go find it for yourself if you're interested. But there is a way out. Which means uh, Mr. Visionar has dropped two points in this game. Because he doesn't want points. That's not valuable in this um, league at all. So there was a way out there. I failed to recognize it. Mostly because I forgot museum was giving me two points. I was desperately looking for a tie, but there was a win, right? Just double giant artisan wins. Artisan gain and duchy, I mean. And I didn't go looking for those cards specifically. I was looking for this temple estate duchy province fancy thing. It was much simpler. Anyways, my opponent does manage to find enough money to pick up the last province and take the um, game, and the match finishes 3 all. so I am not doing well at all this season. Um, in mildly concerned about the motion although things will change how they structure the league later on i don't know anyways i have one more match to play and i will see you there thank you for watching thank you